So call a consultant to update him about a post-operative day two mastectomy patient who her daughter wants to discharge her against medical advice. Okay. Hello there, it's Abdullah here. I'm one of the... Um... Hello, it's Abdullah here. I'm one of the surgery SHOs. Can I please confirm I'm speaking with uh, the breast consultant? Yes. How can I help? Uh, hi, I'm just calling you about one of our patients who was admitted under your care and uh, um, um, she had a mastectomy two days ago and uh, she developed sort of axillary discomfort with axillary swelling and shortness of breath as well. Her daughter is here today and she was concerned about her wife and uh, her uh, mother and she would like to take her home. Uh, she lives like 60 miles away from the hospital and she's really keen to take her to, to, to home today. And uh, I tried to convince her for 20 minutes and she was not um, she was not keen to keep the patient in the hospital. And um, um, I just would like to take an advice from you. I explained that the patient is um, has shortness of breath and uh, that she needs to stay in the hospital uh, for doing further investigation and um, finding out the reason. Uh, but the daughter is quite keen to take her uh, to to home. So, what would you like me to do with this? Well, uh, what's what's the wound and drain like? Um, I'm unsure about the wound. I need to to go and check again and look at the wound because I haven't seen the wound myself. Um, but what I can see from the notes um, uh, that the um, uh, she is uh, has some sort of axillary swelling and shortness of breath as well. Anything else about the drain? Um, we have a drain in. Why we have a swelling? Uh, this, this should, the drain should be draining. Okay, so what do you? Does this patient have sufficient capacity to make her own decision? Yes, the patient does have capacity as per the notes, uh, and she's okay. able to to consent. Uh, but like I said, the daughter is really keen to take her home. That's fine. Did you, did you manage to talk to the daughter at all about that, and to talk to the patient regarding uh, staying? I didn't speak with the patient, but uh, the daughter, um, uh, I had a conversation with her for 20 minutes and she's very keen to take her home. All right, OK, and uh, what do you think has happened to this patient? So I think I think it's a day two post operative with shortness of breath and axillary swelling. I'll be worried about a pulmonary embolism in the first instance. I would like to get an ECG done for her and consider um, a, a scan on the deep venous system and also maybe a, ch a CT um, uh, pulmonary angiogram. I'll also need to rule out uh, atelectasis or pneumonia. And uh, the patient also has a background of uh, uh, COPD. And I'll need to, to rule out if this is an acute accessory patient of COPD or not. OK, this is for shortness of breath. Anything else other than the shortness of breath of this patient? Um, OK, now I remember when you when you asked me. So the drain, um, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, you asked me about the drain. The drain has 90 milli, milli of blood in, in the drain. Um, so that's the only thing else that I can find in this patient. All right, and what do you think is blood happening? Uh, well, it could be a secondary hemorrhage from the wound. Um, secondary hemorrhage in the second day? Um, yeah. Yeah. So what's the, what's, the, what's the secondary hemorrhage? So it usually happen uh, after the surgery, up to one week. Okay. All right. So what's the, what's your plan if you if there's hemorrhage? What's the what's your plan? So I have two issues here. One is the hemorrhage. I would like to get bloods done for the patient, uh, uh, including FBC to check for her hemoglobin, and I would also um, uh, consider doing a, a cross match and a group and screen. Uh, for possible blood transfusion if she bled more than that. And also I'll be worried about a contained hematoma in the wound. Mm -hmm. uh, so so the patient might need, if this is the case, the patient might need uh, to be taken back to theatre for evacuation of this hematoma. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's one thing. On the other side, for the shortness of breath, uh, I'll, I'll need to examine the patient to look at her chest, make sure the saturation is maintained. And if mm -hmm. it's not maintained, I'll get an ABG done for her and uh, put her in oxygen. I'll make sure that she's being resuscitated by fluids. And if she has a spike in temperature, I will give her antibiotic as well. And also, um, I need to examine the cough muscles to look for any deep venous system uh, thrombosis. And um, um, after this assessment, I'll consider getting 
a CT pulmonary angiogram or a chest X-ray based on how she's doing on my assessment. Okay. I'll do an, a, a formal VTE assessment as well, um, just to, to make sure. But obviously, the patient is high risk because she had an active cancer and she's post-operative as well. So okay. I think CTPA might be needed at this stage. All right. So and, and what do you do if they, if they insist on going home? So, uh, well, I spoke with her for 20 minutes. Uh, I will do my best to speak with her again and to explore to explore more reasons why she's insisting um, that her mom should go home today. And I also will explain that the current patient condition and that she needs a stabilization. And this is quite important to keep her in uh, to get the investigation before the charge. And also, I will. Um, um, it's it's written in the note that the patient doesn't have capacity. I will do a formal capacity assessment just to make sure that the patient has capacity. And if the patient has capacity and wanted to stay in the hospital, that's fine. If she has capacity and wanted to go home, I will ask her to sign uh, uh, a discharge against medical advice. I'll also signpost her about any possible symptoms that might happen and lead to being unwell, including uh, very short of breath or maybe cyanosis or, uh, or losing consciousness or high temperature. To go and visit the nearest a &E or come back to the hospital. I'll also make sure I give her contact number to us for anything that might happen to to be able to call us. Anything else? Um, that's what I can think of at this stage. That's fine. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.